Hi, welcome to this demo of Spectrum Protect version 8.1.10, being able to back up the Spectrum Protect metadata catalog, which is DB2, to the cloud. In this demo, I'm going to show you how to use the command line to do backups and restores to Azure. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing you're going to do is issue this new define connection command, and that's going to be define connection. You're going to give it a name cloud type equals Azure, cloud URL, and this is going to be the URL for the blob storage endpoint, and you can find that in the Azure portal. And then password equals, and you'll put in a SAS token. Now this token has to have read, write, and list capabilities for the blobs, and all tokens usually expire inside of Azure. In fact, if you look at this one, you can see that it expires on April 3rd of 2022. So eventually you will have to update this connector with a new SAS token. You can then do a query connection or a query connection format equals detailed. And you will see that the format equals detail shows that this is type Azure, as well as if you'd put in a description, it would give that information as well. Next, we'll issue a validate cloud connection equals and then the name of the connection we just defined. And this is going to go out and actually validate the URL and the credentials for this connection. And so you can see it comes back as verified. Now we'll do a define dev class. You're going to give the dev class a name. The dev type is going to equal cloud. And then connection equals, and you'll put in the connection that we just defined. You can then do a query dev class or a query dev class format equals detailed to see the various details on that device class. Next, we'll issue the set db recovery command, and that's going to be set db recovery. You'll enter the device class name, password equals, and then you'll enter the master key encryption password. And this password is critical because this is going to be used for encrypting the master keys. And if you lose this, you're really going to be in trouble. So make sure you preserve this password. And then numstreams equals, and in this case, we're going to say four, but you do need to read the documentation and determine what works best for you. The number of streams you set will impact both your backup and your restore performance. Some other default options, protect key equals yes, and this is not allowed to be set to no for the cloud. Numstreams is set to one by default, but I recommend you set that to something higher. You can check out our documentation on that. The reason for that is the higher of number of streams for your backup is gonna dictate the number of streams for your restore. Another option, compress equals no, and this cannot be set to yes if you're using the default of encrypt equals yes. Now, when you do this encryption, this is actually going to be the encryption done by DB2, so it'll encrypt that database backup before it's sent out to the cloud. We're also going to send out the dev config file, the vol hist file, the encrypted master keys, and next we'll do a backup db dev class equals and then the device class that we just defined. You can issue a query process and you will see the process with the four volumes we're writing to and it's four because we had numstream set to four when we did the set db recovery. You'll also see that when we do this backup database we're sending out the dev config file the vol hist file, and the encryption key to the cloud. Now, because encryption is set to yes by default, the dev config and vol hist are not encrypted, but the passwords within the dev config file will be encrypted. And the ENC key file is an encrypted version of the master key store, and the key in the key store is used to decrypt the actual database backup. And that's why it's really critical that you remember your password from your set DB recovery command, because if you lose that, you won't be able to restore the database and unencrypt all this information. 
Okay, once that backup finishes, we're gonna go ahead and halt the Spectrum Protect server so that we can simulate a restore. In order to do a restore, you'll first change directory to the instant directory. We're gonna go ahead and manually remove the vol hist and device configuration file so that we can simulate a DR situation where you wouldn't have these present. If all we issue is DSM serve restore database password equals and you enter the encryption key password and then prompt equals no, you'll see that it'll come back and fail because it cannot find the device configuration file. Starting in version 8.1.10, we will prompt you to take a look in the cloud where perhaps there is a device configuration file. So we're going to go ahead and reissue this command, but this time we're going to give it the cloud credentials. So we're going to issue DSM serve restore database. Then we're going to say password equals, and this will be the encryption key password. Prompt equals no. Cloud type equals Azure cloud URL equals the blob storage endpoint that you found in the Azure portal. And then cloud pass is going to be your SAS token. When we enter that, it'll go out and it'll actually find four Spectrum Protect servers that have backed up to the same storage account. And so now we can pick which server we want to restore. And in this case, we want to restore today's server. So we're going to go ahead and enter four. This will start off the restore. The, the first thing it's going to do is restore the device configuration file and the vol hist file, as well as the encryption key. And it's going to bring this back to the directory that's listed in your dsmserve.opt file. If there's still an encryption key out there, we will rename that original key and then restore the key file from the cloud. And then we'll go ahead and continue the restore. Notice that we're restoring from four different volumes. This correlates to the num streams that we specified in our set db recovery command. So now that this restore is done, let's look at a second case. In this case, if we don't want to be prompted for which server we want to do the restore from, we can enter the same dsm serve restore db command, and that would be dsm serve restore db password equals, where you enter the encryption key password, prompt equals no, and then you would add to that the cloud credentials, which would be cloud type equals Azure, cloud URL equals the blob storage endpoint, cloud pass equals your SAS token. But now, in order not to be prompted, we would add server name equals. And now when the restore kicks off, you'll see it does not prompt you for which server to do the restore from. So in summary, I've showed you how to utilize the Spectrum Protect administrator command line to set up Spectrum Protect database backups of the metadata catalog to the cloud. In this case, we're going out to cloud type equals Azure. I also showed you how to do restores from the cloud both in a DR situation where your device configuration and vault hist were no longer there, and if you were restoring from different Spectrum Protect servers that had backed up to the same blob. Be sure to check out my other video where I show you how to use the Operations Center and where I show you how to back up to an S3 cloud type. Thank you very much.